welcome back to JD Swashbuckler News, and today we are once again talking about the President of the United States' impeachment, or impending doom, as we like to call it here at JD Swashbuckler News. And, and if you don't like it, then leave. Oh, so here we are joining the Democratic leaders down in the White House. Uh, so, uh, Jim? Hi guys, I'm Jim here with Judge Swashbuckler News in Perth. Hi mom. <laughs> well, anyways, we're interviewing, we're, we're, sorry, sorry about that. We're interviewing, we're interviewing Joe Biden out here and uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool. So, so check this clip out right here. Is it still on? No, oh, no, you press this button here. Okay, okay. Well, friends, colleagues, CNN, Obama, I'd just like to thank you all for getting me to this place right here. Things are going great. Donald Trump is about to get impeached, uh, which is going to guarantee a W for me, uh, Biden 2020. Uh, but first, I'd just like to say thank you to Obama for not ratting on us that the whole Russian hacker thing was a hoax, uh, you know, started by Hillary Clinton to, you know, uh, Stop Donald Trump. Uh, I just thank you so much for not ratting on us there because that would have spelled out the end of Democrats as we know it. Uh, thank you so much, Obama. Thank you. It means a lot. And uh, Hillary Clinton, thank you so much for. Well, there's not a lot to thank you for, but yeah, first off. But uh, now the call of business. Uh, listen up, guys. If Donald Trump is not impeached, I don't stand one chance. 2020. Okay, and I have it all written down right here. If Donald Trump wins, then we're gonna have four more years of a great economy. The best we've ever seen. A strong military protecting the people who can't protect themselves. And, and, and equality for eventually everybody in America. And we're gonna continue to get better at that. And is that what you guys want? Do you want all that? Absolutely not. So we need to impeach this guy. Okay, this is a bunch of malarkey. Do your freaking jobs. I'm supposed to win. I need to take the W, okay? Listen up, CNN. You need to make me win, okay? And I know, I know, we, 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 had to, we had to meet in here in North Korea in my mom's pantry. And I'm, I'm sorry about this, but we just need to make sure this meeting does not leak out to the general public. Uh, I don't care who he called. I don't care whether or not it was a crime. Uh, I just... I don't care who he called in Ukraine. We need to make sure he's framed and he is out of here so that Donald Trump does not win the 2020 election. Okay? Am I clear? <sighs> Dang it, Jim. What do I tell you every freaking day? The American people don't want the truth, okay? They want a bunch of stuff that's fabricated and lies. The truth doesn't sell anymore. As a news organization, our job is to give them what they want to hear. That is not what these filthy Americans want to hear, okay? The truth doesn't sell anymore. People don't want it. Jim, we are so freaking screwed. The American people are going to come and hunt us down for telling the truth. Oh my goodness. Curtis? It's time to come and flee the country. Let's get out of here. Turn this thing off. Uh, okay. So, we were gonna talk about what the Republicans are doing right now. So, so I guess I'll just do that. Y yeah. Yeah. Uh, sir, your yard looks great. May I ask why you're mutilating that tree? Be quiet, it's juice box time. <laughs> so, sir, why are you killing the tree? Ah, uh, well, it's pretty simple, sir. I don't care about the environment. It is my God-given right to freaking chop this tree. And if you don't like it, 
then leave. God save America, man. We're screwed. We are born free and we will stay free. Well, that video was a lot of fun to make. Um, like and subscribe, share it on your socials so that more views equals more outreach equals more humor for the people. Um, like and subscribe, Dale Jr. Amen.